<laughs> it took me from off the coach to my first uh, time trial, first road race, and uh, yeah, I've had a great time watching performance improve as well as uh, it's always just fun to get coached by Ed and to train with him on the road. Uh, just about to do uh, a sprint with JP, this is kind of his thing. Uh, we will film this video so I want to show off his strengths. Uh, peak power is JP's strength. This guy can do more than most. So he's, uh, he's back there uh, doing the circles, getting ready for this because I put a little pressure on him for the video saying, hey dude, you got to get your record here right around film. So the next uh, drill we're going to do is just going to let him unleash and try and get his all-time max wattage. And then the cool thing is we're going to go right to the video and show you what he has. So that's why he's freaking out there getting ready. Okay, so this is what we're doing next. Enjoy. I just a it's, uh, it's definitely helped the fitness improve. It's helped the uh, fitness. Uh, Helped a lot with the mental aspects of the sport, uh, and uh, you know, and everything that carries outside of the sport as well. Uh, it's, uh, it's always uh, great to wake up every day with the email in your inbox, outlining what your day's going to look like, the torture he's going to put you through, and, and the reward you're going to get at the end of all of it. Absolutely, yeah, I play a, a fair bit of hockey and um, just the, the, the way that you approach training in cycling is uh, vastly different than the way you do on the ice. And, uh, there's definitely a carryover of, of that type of training that you wouldn't otherwise do if you trained sports specific, like just for hockey. And, um, so whether it's the physical elements or uh, you know just as much as the mental elements of cycling um, that you just don't train for in, in other sports and, and it really does help out. Seriously, am I getting paid for this? That's a good idea. <laughs> All right, just finished here with JP. We're doing uh, max uh, sprint efforts. Uh, his uh, bread and butter, this is what he loves. And uh, why he loves it is because he's one of the strongest guys I coach. So maybe not uh, the, the best sustained power, but peak power, JP's uh, top of the food chain. So we didn't quite hit his record. I wanted to catch this on film, but uh, really close. Maybe his fifth best, uh, his wattage to date. Uh, 1303 peak wattage. So if you use, uh, for use back home, you know, you know, uh, get anywhere around 1300 watts is a big deal. So, uh, kudos to uh, JP. Nice work. Uh, now, what he doesn't know is we're going to take him to the hill. All right. So we've uh, we've done a little bit of what he likes, and now we're going to take him over the hill and watch what he doesn't like. Sure. <laughs> End the session. <laughs> <laughs> So as you can see, uh, sometimes you got to do what you don't like. Uh, had JP doing some sprints, which he enjoys, which he's really good at. Bring him out to the hills, and you can see uh, not so much fun. So we got to work on our weaknesses, right, JP? Sure. 
<laughs> now, one problem with coaching is, in order for him to come back and work with me, we got to do those sprints. <laughs> so one of the things that we tricked him here. He didn't even know he was doing the hill today. So this is uh, a last minute uh, to put in there, but you know, he, he survived. Yeah, a lot of fun now that it's done. And got a KOM. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, thanks for joining us. Ah!